Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Just before we get started, I wanted to let you know about a free resource we created for you guys today for download. What it is, is the three pieces of exercise equipment you didn't know you had at home and exactly how to use them. All you have to do is head down to the description below, click on that link, it'll take you right to it, or head right to the website, physioready.com slash equipment at home and get started. All right, so without further ado, let's jump to the video. Thanks a lot. Hey, what's up guys? This is Mitch Starkman back from the Movement Center and welcome to our Don't Do It series. So what we're talking about today is an exercise I see done, lo done a lot and incorrectly and we see a lot of people in the clinic for low back pain, shoulder issues, kind of even radiating pain into the hands and arms from the neck for doing this exercise. So wh what it is that people do incorrectly a lot of the time is they want to stretch out their back because they feel like they have a stiff or tight back. So they roll back on a roll and they kind of lay and hang out and kind of roll side to side and they think that they're doing a great thing for themselves. And on its own, if you're just doing that every once in a while, that's okay. It's okay to do that. But the problem with doing this as a mobility exercise, trying to improve your range of motion is our shoulders themselves, our, our upper back themselves is, is sort of an interesting beast in that it will move where it wants to move and where the easiest places for it to move. So in most people, the lower back becomes a very easy place for us to move. A lot of us compensate through there. So if I am very mobile through here and I roll over a ball like, like such, I will just use all my lower back and not much of anything else. So effectively, I'm laying over this wall to attempt to improve the range of my whole spine, but really what I'm doing is improving the range of motion of my lower back, which is probably already moving too much. Right? Or effectively the neck. If you really want to get, you get, get further back, you're going to hinge and pull through the neck as opposed to getting a good kind of upper back stretch or somewhere else where you're a bit stiffer. So what we propose instead in our don't do it series, but do this, would be an upper back formal exercise. Now we have a video of this in our library we'll put a link to, the upper back foam roll, so you can see exactly how to do it a bit more in depth. But here what I can do is stabilize my head overhead with my arms and I can extend back and forth over the roller, and what this does is it allows me to focus on this area of my back. Now, I can let my lower back loose, and you can see how much farther I can get, but if I keep my core engaged and I arch back, now I can focus on just my upper back. And that's it, all right? So, next time around, you guys think you wanna get on a roll and hang out, just think again. Try to focus on certain areas of your spine at one time, get using a more specific tool and be much more effective for it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, give us a like, comment if you have them, and of course, move like you mean it. Hey guys, thanks for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate it. Want to remind you one more time of that free resource we have for you guys because we appreciate you. It is the three pieces of exercise equipment you did not know you had at home and exactly how to use them. All you have to do to download that is head down to the description below, click on that link, you can download it or head right to our website, physioready.com slash equipment at home and get started. If you haven't subscribed, if you haven't liked us, please do that. We appreciate that. Share away and we will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.